A brigade was being set upon by bandits near the border. King Elda and the Crown Prince Mont of the Kingdom of Leonis headed out to perform a rescue with the 2nd Division, Kalem, in tow. Whom should they find under attack? But Princess Mashari of the Kingdom of Horn. Mont and Mashari joined forces to rout the bandits. And only then did they learn the truth of the assault. Mashari had been en route to marry the King of Fenis, whose kingdom is a political enemy of Leonis. Now, under the pretext of reclaiming his bride-to-be, King Muraga has launched an invasion into Leonis' territory. Whereupon... Horn, ally of Fenis by marriage, has called its armies to unite under Moraga in this effort. Amidst the chaos of the battlefield, Mont promised Mashari that he would protect her at all costs. Alas. Your, your Highness. During the battle with Fenis, the Horn Army. Father's plans may be to cut down Moraga before Horn's reinforcements arrive. Alas, if things continue at this rate, a battle with their allied forces will be unavoidable. A moment, Stern. If the misunderstanding with Horn were to be resolved, then we may be able to avert battle. The Princess of Horn survived her encounter with the bandits by virtue of Leonis's aid. Favors oft beget favors. Our relationship with Horn has thus far been amicable. Perhaps if the truth reaches their ears, they'll withdraw their soldiers. For the time being, at least. For the time being? Yes. It may solve the problem, but only temporarily. <laughs> Smart lad, that one. Oh, you are in agreement? King Rob seems to be a wise general with a strong respect for righteousness. They should cease their attack for now. However, should Fenis assail Leonis again, Horn would march onto Leona's castle at full strength. Your counsel is much appreciated. Then it appears there is no scheme that can abate the threat of Horn. Not entirely accurate, Your Highness. There is one option. Indulge me. We must end Moraga's life. Master, will you not lend us your strength? Hmm. I heard tell that not even Lilith stood a chance against him, but with your help. Please, we humbly request your aid. Here we go again, just as I was thinking about retirement too. Master. It's not like I can refuse, now is it? Let's see how far we can push this aging sword, shall we? You have my deepest thanks. It's reassuring to have you fight with us. But you'd best strengthen your resolve. Moraga will not be defeated unless one courts death. <laughs> that cannot be allowed to happen. From King Elda himself. Stand down, Kiton. But... Kiton, you must understand. When swords are drawn, Lord Stern will never back down. <sighs> Beg pardon. His Majesty has already completed preparations for the retreat. Inconceivable. Father would have us hole up in the castle. But unfortunately, we are unprepared for such a situation. 
Even if we were to begin preparations now, we would not be able to finish in time. <laughs> it seems we have but one option left after all. Then let us depart. M mother you cannot be serious! What is the value in survival if it is mine alone? It would be better to reach our graves together. But... You speak of yourself as a grand warrior, yet you are unable to protect your own mother? They will not touch a hair on your head, mother. My thanks, Stern. Fordham, move out at once! I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you report back to King Elder? I'll see it done. Well, you can do better than that. Try saying it again, with a smile. After all, you get to be at Lord Mont's side. That's quite a windfall for you, isn't it? <laughs> Not another word. I'll protect Lord Stern with my life. I expect you to do the same for Lord Mont. Lord Stern. I know. That mangy Moraga. I'd heard of his savagery. But to think him capable of such devious plotting. Not what you'd expect from a man who takes what he wants by brute force, is it? <laughs> be that as it may, our enemies don't appear to be as great a number as I'd expected. It has been a while. Shall we give it our all, Master? Let us indeed. It's time we struck the fear of Fordham into the hearts of those who follow Moraga.
a favorable mood today. I will show you something special. The essence of magic! Well, does it hurt? Get away from me, or I'll cut you down. My, how gallant. You have my deepest sympathies, but alas. Are you so naive as to think I can turn a blind eye to threats against my lord? Shitzelt, calm yourself. You think I won't strike you down just because you're a prince? <sighs> Trembling, are you? You spineless royal fool! You were right. I do not have what it takes to be a prince. What did you say? But you do not have what it takes to be a royal guard either. Sh shut your mouth! Why... why didn't you move? A man like you cannot fulfill your duty to Ma Cherie. I shall be her shield. My sincerest apologies. My subject was not himself. Pay it no heed. Mont antagonized him. The wounds are mere scratches. I apologize further for speaking freely. However, it seems that Mont has come into his own rather quickly. All thanks to you, if I hazard a guess. Thanks to me?
Let's get out of here. Revenge has slipped our grasp. We should lick our wounds and bide our time. Prepare to retreat. Ketone, by your pale hue, I presume you bring dark tidings. Forgive me, your grace. Stern has departed to do battle. With Stern's aid, we can turn this war around. Stern? You mean the heir to the Leona's crown? Oh, my apologies. No need for apologies. Stern's skill with the sword is true enough, and far outmatches my own. Then, you have given up? Given up what? Is it not obvious? The throne of Leonis. Who shall sit upon the throne will be decided by me. Ketone, relay this message to Stern. Retreat to the castle at once. What in the hell is the boy thinking? Leaving Helena to march to war. Beg pardon, Your Grace, but Queen Helena is with him. She's what? The enemy is coming! Hi, 
I'm in a favorable mood today. I will show you something special. The essence of magic! Report from the field, Your Grace. It seems that Fenris reinforcements are heading this way, one after another. Reinforcements? From Fenris? Seems word of our leaving the castle has already reached Moraga. There's more to him than I thought. Master, what do you make of Moraga's movements? That savage? It would seem that he's wary of you. Of me? King Elder stubbornly refused to send you into the battle against Fenris. That's why Moraga is afraid of you, Lord Stern. You must be what they call a secret weapon. <laughs> You're saying that Father kept me back for a time like this. Well, now we have a chance to seize victory, slight as it may be. What do you mean? That means Moraga could be underestimating Lord Mont's abilities. Insightful as always, Master. I reached a similar conclusion myself. Maybe his skill with the blade is lacking in comparison to yours, Lord Stern. However, he has seen war more times than one could count. Sometimes flowers bloom even on the battlefield. I think so too. Well then, shall we? I really must get loosened up. Oh, I've grown stiff from serving in the castle. <laughs> <laughs> 